जी बिस्मिल्लाम गाइस टुडे विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट ए टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट सो वी मस्ट हैव सम डेटा सो वी हैव सम डेटा इन आवर डॉक्यूमेंट सो वी मस्ट हैव हेडिंग्स एज वेल so we add headings main heading and let's suppose we have subheading we have sub of subheading Here again we have main heading. For example, we have subheading. We have to define headings. Here we have again main heading. basically main heading now uh, we define it uh, okay let's define in the system this is the main heading we have to be very much careful so before uh, defining headings so i must add insert blank page so on this blank page i'm going to have table of content so here we have this is main heading but it is not defined in the system yet so you must have to define that this is the main heading main heading we define it as heading 1 let's suppose this is main heading heading 1 no this is defined as a heading 1 this is heading 2 subheading and this is heading 3 this is again main heading is sub heading heading 2 main heading heading 1 sub heading heading 2 sub of sub heading heading 3 let's suppose we have main heading heading 1 sub heading define it heading 2 and this is sub of sub heading mean heading level 3 so now you have defined all the headings so all the headings all the data you have done it now you need to create a table of contents so here we have to create table of contents so we'll go to the tab reference tab and in this ribbon we'll go first function that is table of content so we have different options automatic table 1 automatic table 2 manual table so we can choose any 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 of the format so let's suppose we choose this one so we will just click this one and table of content will be created automatically you can see how format of this table is balanced equal headings are defined page numbers are defined so this is really very simple just click on one function 
table of content click it and you will have table of content computerized table of content rather than creating this table of content manually so you can create in using uh, microsoft word function Ref reference is the tab and in this tab references tab you will find the function table of content okay. so you can update table of content very easily if you need to have more data you can have more data if you want to have you you want to delete some data you can delete some data so let's suppose for example we just copy paste no we have added more data so we have to update table of content so simply click on the table of content and you will find a function update table and you can find here as well in references tab and you will find table of contents update table so you if you just click it so it will ask you you just want to update page numbers or you want to update entire table so you must update entire table page number only if you have added more pages if you have added more headings so definitely you have to add both headings as well as page number so entire table always do update entire table okay you will see that table of content has been updated okay if you want to delete some data for example this page number two and third heading you want to delete it just delete this one and you can delete some more data let's suppose this one page number three subheading and you have deleted this data as well so now you will see you have changes different pages or you you want to delete this let's suppose this one as well so we have total five pages and we have subtracted different headings and page number as well so let's see table of content table of content is not updated yet so just click it and update table so it will automatically update table for you you know you can see your table of content is updated so how much data you want to add how much data you want to subtract or delete you can do it in just single clicks okay so these are the three levels of headings for example this is main heading this is sub heading this is sub level one level two and level three so can you add level four heading let's suppose subheading so here we have yeah um, we define the simple heading level 3 so just define it heading level 3 and if we have heading level 4 so what we need to do is that we have to just define it we will just define it heading level 4 here is it is heading level 4 and we have subheading define it subheading mean heading 2 here we have so this is third level you can have you can have in fourth one so this for example this one is heading level 4 so just define it not 3 just 4 so now you will see go up and update the table of 
content entire table okay so do you see heading level 3 okay 3 there is no heading level 4 why is that so because if you go to reference if you go to table of contents there is a function custom table of content click it and you will find more functions so actually we have defined preview print preview web preview so show page numbers right and we have given the level show levels 3 if we are at level 4 so for example we have level 4 you will see in preview it is it has been added level 4 if you will click ok you will see update yes so now you will find heading 4 heading 4 so so like this you can you can do so many changes whatever you want to do custom changes so you just need to remember the main function is on the main tab that is named as reference on this reference tab you have so many icons this is called basically ribbon of the reference so on this ribbon you will find one function that is table of content you have different table of contents so if you want to modify your table of content just go to custom table of content so on this custom table of content you will have more functions or features you can have different levels so if again you, you if you want to have you can use it from here or update table simple page number if you want to add page numbers so just click page number update page number only or if you want to add, update entire table means you want to add more headings and page numbers so you must do entire table so very simple tip you always do entire table okay so your table of content has been created and updated so this is very easy and simple function but you must know how to use this function i hope uh, you will understand this if you don't understand so you may ask questions thank you very much